Hello YouTubers, this is my attempt at making my own bracket to fit onto, fit these binoculars onto this tripod that you can see here. First of all, I unscrewed this. Only to find out that it's not a, a standard thread for that. So what I had to do is have a rummage through my box of washes, nuts, bolts and whatever. I made myself an L-shaped bracket as you can see. I then put that there. And put that on there. That, if you can just about see it, is the original screw out of the binoculars itself. It's only tiny. So we'll keep that safe up there. I've now mounted, as you can see, I've now mounted a bracket there. And it's. So that's it. So that's how that fits, as you can see. That's it. These binoculars. Are 16 times 50 as you can see that's the make of them these were purchased from a charity shop uh, in Nantwich for £10 complete with leather case not bad at all so I'm now left with that bracket there now this is a standard piece that fits onto the top of my tripod, there, as you can see. So, I have drilled a hole in the bottom of the bracket, slightly smaller and that so it's a nice tight fit. I now screw that in like that. It's quite a tight fit, which is what you need. This is this is a little bit awkward, this is my big fingers. So I will use a pair of pliers just to Oops, we'll use a pair of pliers just to screw that in there, as you can see. That's it. So now that is the job done. Now to see if it will fit on the tripod. It should do. So let's right, take that off there. No, that's up there. Make sure it's tight. No. As you can see, you 
you can adjust that now to any height you want. As I said, this is my, that's that adjustment all the way around there. And by undoing this one here, you can now put your binoculars whatever angle you like. And there you go. Now to make them even more secure, I shall take this I shall take this down a little bit further so you can see. What I've got to do now is to get myself a butterfly nut or some sort of nut and a washer just to put that on there to make it really secure. At the moment I'm having trouble finding a nut that will fit that. So, but it's not bad. All done through just a few spares knocking about the workshop. Bye.